Eric Peterson on Williston Trending Topics News Radio Live. Coyote Radio 98.5 FM, Williston Trending Topics News Radio Live. Every Tuesday morning, 8 o'clock, Eric Peterson, Proven Realty. Eric, good morning. Good morning, Tom. How are you? Doing great. Thank you. Uh, it's cold, and during the cold, there's uh, you need a jacket, but you need other things when you're going to buy a house. What do you need to pay attention to during the wintertime? Yes, excellent topic. Um, we've had so many challenges right now with frozen pipes everywhere, basements flooding, there's so much damage right now that we thought it was a good topic to not only how to protect your homes and your assets in the cold, uh, especially right now, there's been a lot of them. There's over 50 of them reported that I know about right now. But also, what challenges are there when you're buying and selling with winter the way uh, way that it is? And we just want to make sure everybody's protected and uh, we're not seeing any more damage. Well, let's look at the outside of the house, first of all. Uh, how about the roof? What do we want to be careful of there? Yeah, we're actually um, uh, seeing a lot of issues right now where some of those um, pipes on your roof get clogged with snow and ice. A lot of those go back in. And let's say that you go to the bathroom, you flush your toilets, a lot of that gas escapes out of those pipes, whether it's uh, CO2, whether it's septic backing up. What's happening now is a lot of those pipes and vents are getting frozen, getting ice on those. They can go back into your house, cause health problems, and then just be stinky as well. And then you wanna be able to clear all of that uh, air out of your house. So I would say that's the number one. Also, don't go up on your roof unless you have a ladder and that you are with somebody typically. You can broom off some of those uh, roofs as well to make sure that they're not slippery, shovel them if needed, or just call an expert. Everybody's backed up right now with winter being where it is. Contractors, plumbing companies, HVAC are all backed up, but just make sure that you're doing it safely. After the winter passes us and the snow uh, passes us, is there a way to tell whether there's been damage done uh, to the roof from the snow and from the, uh, the wet? Yeah, we're getting really used to that by now. Um, as you know, this is one of the wettest springs that I've ever been associated with in my 12 years in Williston. We had a lot of roofs that actually took on damage from hail and wind and um, water got in some of the soffits. We also had some really heavy snow, as you remember, in May. So that heavier snow as it was getting into crawl spaces, into attics, not allowing proper ventilation because everything got clogged up. You really need to hire a roofing contractor or an expert that's licensed, bonded, and insured to come look and give you an assessment. But we lost several thousand roofs in the last couple of years with hail. And then the other thing you need to worry about is how does the slope of your house and your grading pour away from your house? In other words, if you do have roof, uh, snow and ice and lots of water coming up, is that going to flood back into your basement? So something definitely to be concerned about, attics, crawl spaces, and then are your, is your house set up from a grading standpoint to push the water away from your uh, house? What about aging uh, the house, actually just getting older? Is there a, 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 a time period when things start to go bad like a car? I, I know that uh, my cars always go bad as soon as the warranty runs out. <laughs> of course they do, yeah. You bet. And I think that a lot of it depends on the damage of mother nature more than anything. A roof that in other areas is going to last 25 or 30 years and North Dakota might only last in the last couple of years, just a few of those. So typically 25 to 30 years on your roofs, your siding, depending on the type that it is, if it's sealed correctly, might be able to get 15 or 20 years of use out of it. Um, but certainly it just depends on the year that it was built, how it was built. A lot of these houses, as you know, were thrown up in 2010 through 2013. Contractors came in that necessarily weren't the best quality craftsmen around. So it just depends on the age of the house, uh, the quality of it, of course. And then more than anything, just the wear and the tear. Sometimes you could have one side of your house with zero hail damage and the other side's completely damaged just based on how the storm hit it. Good morning to you. You're listening to Williston Trending Topics, News Radio Live, Coyote Radio 98.5 FM. Eric Peterson with us every Tuesday morning at eight o'clock. We're talking real estate talking about winter real estate right now. And uh, Eric, uh, there are times when you buy the whole enchilada, you buy the, the house with the appliances and the furniture in it and so on and so forth. And uh, appliances can be, a can be a problem. 
Yeah, they sure can. And we've seen a lot of those appliances go bad. Were they serviced? Um, I ended up buying a house two years ago in Williston and it was one of the old Halliburton housing units. As it turned out, we thought that all of the washers and the dryers and the um, dishwashers and the refrigerators were in good working order. We had them tested by an inspector, but then of course, right when we moved in, uh, Murphy's Law, as soon as we moved in, those are the types of things that started to fail. It depends on whether you're in city water or not. Are you getting the Williston treated water with one of the fanciest systems uh, in the country? Or are you out in the uh, city limits or outside of city limits and you have all the sediment? We have really hard minerals and a lot of that uh, sulfur type material that gets in there. And that is really especially hard on those appliances, your washers, your dryers, your dishwashers. They take a lot of wear and tear uh, as well just by where we live. Well, I know that uh, um, my place is about nine years old and uh, about a month ago, the washing machine went out and a week later, the dishwasher went out. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, okay, well, I better figure out where a good appliance store is. Seems like yeah, they all go at once. Yeah, they're good local ones. And obviously you want to make sure to get a good warranty. I'm always a guy that goes with an extended warranty just because we hammer our washers and dryers so hard, put a lot of use on them. But more importantly, the new stuff never lasts as well as the old stuff. If you get a house that has a hot water heater from 30 or 40 years ago, that might actually outlast a brand new hot water heater, even on today's calendar, just because they're built better, right? Stuff was made in the US of A, stuff was built with quality craftsmanship and just held up better. A lot of the stuff that you're getting in is coming from overseas. They're putting in parts and pieces that really aren't uh, good quality, and those seem to go out a lot quicker. Before we get out of here this morning, I want to talk about one other thing, and that is windows. Yep. Uh, what should we be looking out for as, as, as it relates to windows? I know that uh, I have the double windows uh, at my house, and snow's getting in between them. Yeah, snow and ice. Um, I've been in rentals with that same situation. Sometimes if, if there's a leak in the pane between the two uh, glasses, that uh, kind of gets rid of that uh, vapor barrier, if you will, and uh, get some of your R value out of there. So make sure that they're cocked correctly. Make sure that they're good windows. And then a lot of times, and especially with some of these credits, you can get brand new windows, get a tax credit from an energy saving standpoint to save money on your taxes, and those will be far more efficient. And you're going to pay for the additional cost of those windows very quickly, especially in wintertime with just utility savings. We are... Uh just at the forefront of winter time. Uh, now we've got a couple, three or four months left to go of this winter. Uh, is there a, a time uh, during the winter time when more houses sell than not? Is this a, is this a slow time? It's, a, it's actually a busy time. Typically kind of between Christmas and New Year's is a little bit slower as people leave and travel. But when people come back um, from holiday trips or they had family that came to visit, a lot of folks right now are looking to buy again, especially now that interest rates are down. So again, make sure to shop your lenders, go local, get your pre-approvals put in place, get all of your credit in order, make sure everything's good to go. But right now, in my opinion, is the best time to buy a house and get a better deal. A lot less competition from those folks that aren't willing to brave the elements and brave the cold. And typically a lot of folks get laid off in the winter time, but they're moving in in droves come springtime. So now is the time to buy. All right, Eric. Good conversation. Thank you much. Yeah, sounds great. If there's anything else, you just let me know. Thanks again. We'll talk to you soon. Eric Peterson, Proven Realty, EXP. How do they find you on the net? Uh, yes, you can go to our website at www.provenrealtynd.com. And if you're looking for properties, it's provenrealtynd.com. We'll see you folks soon. Thank you much. Bye-bye.